He is a wicket taker. He's got the ability to pick up early wickets. Good appeal, up goes the finger. First strike for India. Haji Dhanakar, known for his ability to pick up wickets. He also picked up an important wicket. The man in front. No, he's certainly a wicket taker. He's dead in front. Good high. Garka likes to look at it. So does Mark Benson. Oh, that's another peach. This is an incredible delivery. Agarka coming back from a flu has bowled the dream ball. What a start this is for a man who's been sick in the last four days in bed. Rajit Agarkar looks in superb bowling form. Very good rhythm. Moving away after pitching. Jacques Carles once again playing down the wrong line. Isn't that a good sound for a bowler? Timba. Ganguly is delighted. So is the Indian team. Another very important wicket. Jacques Carles not for a duck. South Africa 8 for 2. Michelle Gibbs. He's having a very, very good time. Rajiv Dhawakar, dream spell. Well, it's a fast, medium masterclass here from Agarka today. Getting caught on the crease and the swing as well. He's bowling beautifully. Length, swing, seam. And another dot ball to end a successful over there for India. South Africa, eight for two. Oh, oh, and down here is taken. Sachin Tendulkar is taken. A.B. De Villiers is unmoved. The umpires are no, he reckons it's clipped the pad on the way to Sachin Tendulkar and the Indians cannot believe it. Well, incredible take either way from Tendulkar. So here Khan, once again, getting into a corridor of uncertainty, he has to be his nick this. And it's straight off the edge. And that's a brilliant catch. It did go pretty quick, didn't it, Shiver? That, that, that was always the big question. If it hit the pad, it would have been slow. That's just a regulation, Nick. What was the batsman trying to indicate? And what a poor decision this is. Big outside edge. It's flipped away and he's put it down. He's put it down this time. Gautam Gambhir, the field at square leg. What's happening here? Very eventful proceedings. Well, I said it had brightened up. This is amazing cricket. The catch that wasn't given from Tendulkar, one ball. Zahir Khan was charging here in. Gets on the leg stump to Beers, nails it straight to the fielder. Gumby, who had a couple of attempts at it, and has dropped the ball. But this is the previous ball, just a regulation neck. Bring and catch by Tendulkar, not out. And now De Beers. This is going to put so much pressure back on Zahir Khan. He'll be so frustrated from one, a taken catch, a drop catch, and now a brilliant pull shot from De Beers. It's a great shot. He's expecting the shot delivery. Put it away quite nicely. Shiv, let's hope Zahir Khan just keeps his wits about him here. He's bowling beautifully. Bowl the best ball he can each ball. He's on top here. I'm sure he knows. Maybe De Villiers said he was very, very lucky to survive that appeal for the first slip. Now it's Saurabh Ganguly. Oh! Shots of catch it, it's out. And the finger's gone up and inside edge onto the pad and straight up into the air. A.B. De Villiers has gone for 15. South Africa have lost another wicket. Well, you've got a hand in sort of Ganguly. Magnificent bowling. He got the ball to move away from the right-handers in the previous over. This time, the ball came in, bat onto pad, and a very easy take for Mahindra Singh Dhoni. So that is another big wicket. Big blow to South Africa. De Villiers gone. That brings Jean-Paul Dumini. Here's Ganguly. Oh, Huge shot, and it's been given out. Two and two. For of Ganguly, he's turned it on. South Africa, four down. This is magnificent stuff. And he's filling the fifth bowler's role. Oh, that's that's in line and it's going to hit leg. So that's a good decision by umpire Alindar. Two and two. So Dubin is gone for not sort of Ganguly on a hat trick. It's 28 for four. Here he goes, hat trick ball. Oh. Crowd. Listen to them, they were so disappointed with that. Happened so quickly as well. The batsman's out there already. Ganguly with his short run up was in there. That's the first wicket. Mahendra Singh Dhoni from behind the stumps doesn't have too much to do in taking the catch. Ganguly very happy. Naividori was happy after that one. 
credit to Ganguly. He got the length right, got a bit of swing to go with it. It's going to be tough here for South Africa. They've got to somehow consolidate for a little while. Yeah, get a partnership going, but... Is it close enough to call? Not really. Mark Benson been put under a lot of pressure here. It was a good, decent delivery. It's probably pitched in line. It's got to be close. It's just caught him ever so slightly on the move. It's such a special delivery that he has after the singer. He gets it going late. That's Apesh and almost taken by Karthik. He's such a good fielder. Almost uh, brought out a terrific catch. Second one that India put down, yeah. Beer was the earlier culprit. Did it cost him too much in the end? Who knows? This may cost him. It can be a very dangerous player. Could have been a great catch. Let's be honest. RP Singh looks uh, disappointed, but uh, terrific effort. Nicely struck. What a lovely drive through the offside. No need to run for that one. That will relieve the nerves. That's beautifully put away by Kent. Such a quick timer of the ball. He had the view of the field. Well, that is a beautiful shot. That's all the way. That's six. That is handy. He's a brilliant player, Herschel Gibbs. Very, very attractive. He brings the spectators in to watch him bat. And that's a beautiful shot. Got some width outside off stump. Oh, that is a huge hit. It's probably higher than the length that he wanted. So these are going to be very difficult overs for the spinners. Oh, that is a magnificent hit. Flat, long, just about not reaching the fence there. Oh, goodness me. That has hit the scoreboard. It's out of here. Six for Justin Kemp. That's a huge over. 14 from it. 102 for four. That can be tight. Direct throw may have got him. I don't think he hit the ball to the wickets. Try and ground his bat. Oh, he, he might have just given up there. Has he hit the stumps with his knee? Nah, the ball's just missed. Gone through with his hands. Maybe the ball also hit the stumps, but no, the umpire's pretty convinced. Herschel Gibbs, it's in the air. Has it gone all the way? And it has. So Herschel Gibbs towing the sit ball. It's gone all the way to six. Again, another flat, hard hit, but he just finds the fielder. Another couple of yards here or there, he would have got a four. That's gone straight over his head, too short, and Karthik, as fast as he is, can't cut it off. Just too short, an easy hit for Herschel Gibbs. This ball dip. What a delivery, right into the block hole. He's had a superb spell with the new ball, and he's been in great bowling form ever since he's made a comeback to this Indian team and this is an important breakthrough. He's passionate about his performance and being included in the playing 11. Zahir Khan, he was a part and parcel of this particular team just about 12 months back but he's now come back looking a lot more fitter, a lot more uh, keen and he's got rid of Siddle Herschel Gibbs for 56 with a delightful walk. The final legs inside the ring, it'll be a boundary for Mark Boucher. South Africa are looking to punch India quite badly. Oh! A little bit of good fortune going for Ajita and the keep Indians. Keep Might have been a boundary. Those are pissing at long off. Finish Karthik wide at long on. This firmly struck drive. Kultos and mid wicket will just watch it sail over into the stands. What a hitter Justin Kemp is turning out to be. <laughs> He's bowled in this time. Looking to repeat that shot over mid-wicket. A little triumphant uh, signal from Tendulkar. You hardly see Sachin Tendulkar getting passionate about uh, the job that he's doing, but uh, those gestures clearly demonstrating uh, a different Sachin Tendulkar for us after being hit for a six. This was his reply. South Africa, 144 for six. The last ball coming up. Three men in the deep on the leg side. Dinesh Karthik it'll be, takes it back comfortably in the end. Two wickets for Tendulkar in the last over of the innings. And Ruhal, the last man dismissed, was looking to clear the fence at long on. Tendulkar has picked up two wickets, displayed once again the quality to limit the South Africans after winning the toss. There are more than 25,000 runs, almost 26,000 runs between these two. Dale Stain is quick, he can move the ball. That's just what is required at the moment. It's early days in his career, Darren. Very much so, but it's got plenty of promise. Good pace and swing. And Gooley to take first strike. That's for the wide. 
also falls over. Now that's one area where the Indians were immaculate. No wides, no no balls. It's a critical area, Arun. You just can't afford any extras. There's no stopping that one. Finally got to the fence. Four from the last delivery. Oh, goodness me, how did that get away? That would have been regulation. Both of them just just looked at each other. Yeah, these things happen when you, you have a first slip. It generally doesn't feel first slip. He's looked at Callis. Callis has looked at it. Neither's taken it. It's taken this time. Brilliantly bold. So that's wicket number one. Sachin Tendulkar edging outside the off stump. And this time it was Boucher who got his glove under it. Big wicket for South Africa. Got out of jail, yeah. That's a good shot. That's four. So that should give him a lot of confidence. Gautam Gambhir. It's well played. And equally well fielded now. He's gone. Well, they've asked the question. Get the feeling that Gambhir is back. But Ganguly hadn't moved. And Gambhir had almost shook hands with him and came back. He almost ran too. Now, this could be disaster from the Indian perspective. It almost was. But we'll have to wait and see. Was Ganguly ball watching? In fact, he was. Now, this is a good recovery effort by South Africa. Oh, it's going to be tight to his ear. Maybe the Villiers was at point, so he'd have had a good look at this. He didn't seem convinced. Wasn't too excited. Not out. But really, Gautam Gambhir almost ran two there. Oh, he's bowled it. Short ball. He went for the pull. Under edging it straight onto the stump. So he's played on. He's gone. Wicket number two for South Africa. This is hotting up. Ambitious by Gambhir. He's new to the wicket, looking to pull one of the quicker bowlers around. Not quite short enough. That's good bowling by Stein. Some might say it's lucky, but he's rushed him. He's the fastest bowler on display here. He's around the wicket to Ganguly, and he's played a great drive. Sublime timing from Saurav Ganguly. So good through that area of point and cover. All timing. Nobody moves all the way for four. He is playing into his hands here. Kale Stein going around the wicket. He's gone for the pull shot, he's uh, middled it quite nicely. The ball will go across for a four. He's got it away. Nicely away. Catch it is the call. The ball will sail away for a six. I think it's a boundary, but nicely played by Saurabh Gangli. He made sure that he got inside the line of that one. Helped it on its way. Getting inside the line. Was able to just help it down to just wide of fine leg was a boundary I thought the ball had uh, gone past the boundary for a six but uh, nevertheless pretty useful stuff from Saurav Ganguly you can be forgiven mate it's a bit bright here it is bright you can hardly see here your glasses look good they borrowed <laughs> taken caught behind finger is raised by the umpire it's the end of Saurav Ganguly's innings and Renel has uh, done a fair bit of damage here good delivery a difficult delivery for Saurav Ganguly. It's into him and then it just straightens off the pitch. Have a look at that. Andre Nell, very good at doing that. Does it a lot in test cricket. Decides here against Ganguly that despite having got him out from over the wicket in recent times, in this series he'll go around. Gets the wicket, is ecstatic. Has done well for South Africa. Youth to the rescue. Yuvra Singh has come out there. And gets a good one from Andre Nell. What an over. Picked up a wicket. Another good delivery. Good pace as well. 88 miles an hour. So back right on target with his bouncer. Underrated ball in one day cricket. Very rarely gets scored off. So another dot ball there. They keep building. Bottom hand coming into play. He's found the gap. Could that be the boundary? The break for Shackles for India. Smart play here by Yuvraj. That's gone through the slip court. Chase for Makayantini. Oh, a misfielded badly by him. That should have been stopped. He's been poor this week in the field, Makayantini. Lacking in intensity. This is what happens. He's not quite there. He can't afford this, South Africa. Edge, and that's gone through the gap. He's having a laugh at it. Mark Boucher uh, was away from the line of the ball. Slow delivery once again. The ball finds the edge once again. Well, this time it's fielded by Andre Nell. He's single taken. Yovra Singh is uh, currently out of form. Gallus sees the funny side to all of this. More or less wide. <laughs> it's gone too wide. Maybe change the, the slip cordon for a change of luck. Well, he surprised him with that delightful cut shot. 
too quick for Fenwick. Such a good timer of the ball, Yuv Singh. You provide him with, and when he's on song, he makes it look extremely easy. Tough to strike. Oh, delightful drive. Made it look so easy. He's treat to watch when he's rolling. He's lifted the ball. And uh, he'll cross the boundary. Out of the blue. That's very much an over. Picking things off uh, Yafu India. That's gone. Well timed by Rahul Dravid. He'll like it. India's 100 is posted as a result of that solid pull shot. Jack Callis is not happy. And he's a good puller of the ball. One of the best around. Oh, like it. Straight drive from Rahul Dravid. His first of the innings. Growing in confidence, South Africa certainly struggling now. It's been a great over for India. 14 off the over. They're going for it. And maybe he's got it. Goodness me, that is just what the Indians didn't want. Unbelievable. He didn't even try to dive. He was just too far away. Rahul Dravid is gone. Mark Boucher behind the stumps. Took a fantastic catch earlier. Have a look at this. A quick single. It's gone behind. And you expect that Rahul Dravid can get there easily. He can't. There's no way. He's trying to run in line with the stumps. I felt that maybe, maybe he had a chance of getting in if he had dived or even just extended his bat in. This is, well, Mahendra Singh, Dhoni. Back to that with a lot of disappointment. But for the moment, is Dhoni and he's off the mark. Rahul Dravid has given them an opportunity, the South Africans. He's gone for it. There's a man out there. Nathan Bake. Of a couple. Oh, he's taking it on. Comfortably home. I thought it would be the Mahendra Singh Dhoni who would be doing that, but Yuvraj coming back and really testing Kemp on that occasion found wanting. I think Justin Kemp, not only was he slow, but he didn't realize that they're going to come back for the second. Dhoni didn't want it, but Yuvraj pushed and made it with ease. Oh, tight. Oh, they missed it. A direct hit. I tell you what, that would have been pretty close. From those reactions, you expect if he had hit, it would have been gone. Yes, there was hesitation. This was a tight one. Yuvraj certainly would have gone. He dived. Oh, it would have been touch and go. He's got to go hard. He knows that he can't, couldn't have sent Tony back, yes. If it had hit, it would have been all over for Yuvraj Singh. Their nervous smiles. Dinesh Karthik, cool head on him. Here's the next. So a ball, it's up in the air. Is this going to be out? Oh, no, it's not. It's six runs. What a shot. What a shot indeed. That's a brave hit. There is a man in the deep. It was a mere spectator. Huge hit. And now Yuvraj Singh and Mahendra Singh Dhoni do not need to take risks anymore. That one little risk. Yuvraj Singh going for the big shot there. And as far as India are concerned, they'll be thinking, well, we're bound to get one or two or three. We can put away over the boundary. Up in the air. Has it gone wide? A third man. Yes, it has. A four runs. 16 or 16. Well, that's what was required in this over. A man to take the risk has got to be Mahendra Singh Dhoni because the set batsman is Yuvraj Singh. Two more overs after that. That was a short one outside the off stump. That was an opportunity and he took it. But he would have gone for anything. Got the boundary under his belt, so they've got five from two. You ask South Africa in this position if they'll take the last over and to be worth six or less. I think they would. Do you ask India? Would they want that? Six or less in the last over? They'll probably say, oh, no, less. He's hit it, he's hit it well. Kallis puts the dive in, can't get there. Four more, second boundary in the over from Dhoni. That should settle it. Mahendra Singh Dhoni realized that this was the over to go for it. He's got away with it, but this is a spectacular shot. Not only was it hit hard, but it's also got to be hit in the gap. Kallis despairing dive, the ball had already passed him. Uh, he was never in the hunt. What a magnificent shot, that's brought up everybody in the dressing room. They know the value of those two boundaries. But this is getting interesting. 10 of 10, still in the hunt, South Africa. A wicket now would do very nicely for their cause. He's gone for it. He's looking in that long off region. Doesn't quite get it there, though. Two runs applauded. Yuvraj Singh because he's got to 50 with those two runs. What a valuable innings it's been for India. His 28th one-day international 50. 
shakes hands with Mahendra Singh Dhoni and he'll know that the job is not quite done yet so close magnificent 50 under the circumstances I keep saying that the, the importance of this match is incalculable has hit that well very well it's beaten Dale Stane four runs to India so just a four more to win from eight balls that's why they're jumping around the crowd well that almost decapitated uh, Mahendra Singh Dhoni there's a lot of contribution by Dhoni because that almost didn't go to the fence how he avoided it well magnificent hit well done Dhoni to get out of the way I'll say it again this is the first time India would have beaten South Africa outside India in a one-day series there they are lining up means a lot to India this it'll hurt South Africa second ranked team in the world South Africa and generally play good one day cricket not want to have come here and lost this one to get got it he's whacked it away onto the onside over the infield and India have won by six wickets four balls to spare they won the toss here at Stormont and decided that they would bowl first in a shortened game 31 overs aside and India have got home courtesy of Yuvraj Singh who goes off the field and is mobbed by his teammates along with quite a lot of supporters who waited around while the rain came down this morning India win the future cup it was important that they came here and did very well did well in Bangladesh and have come here and won this series against South Africa so this will I tell you have a lot of significance even for the cricket that's to follow for the Indians their belief is back the smiles are back the team is together they performed brilliantly couldn't have asked for more and they played it well winning it by six wickets